In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for NH4+. This is the ammonium ion, and you'll see it quite frequently in chemistry. So first, let's count the valence electrons up. Nitrogen's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It'll have five valence electrons. Hydrogen in group 1 has one valence electron. We have the four hydrogens. And then this positive, that means we've lost an electron. Since electrons are negative, if we lose one, we end up with a positive charge. So we've lost one. We're just going to subtract that there. That gives us a total of 5 plus 4 is 9 minus 1, 8 valence electrons for the NH4 plus Lewis structure. When we draw Lewis structures, hydrogen atoms always go on the outside. So we're going to put the nitrogen in the center of our structure and then put four hydrogen atoms around it. So we have a total of 8 valence electrons for this ammonium ion for our Lewis structure for the ammonium ion. We'll put two between the hydrogen and the nitrogen here. That forms our chemical bond. We have another two here. We've used four, two here. And then finally, we complete the octet on the nitrogen, eight valence electrons. So that's very stable for the nitrogen. Hydrogen atoms only need two valence electrons. So each one of these hydrogen atoms, that's OK as well. So this is the Lewis structure for NH4+. Since it's an ion, though, we need to put brackets around our Lewis structure. And then we'll put a positive sign outside. So this is a one plus ionic charge. So this is the Lewis structure for the ammonium ion. Lewis structure like this really only gives us a two dimensional look. Let's look at this molecule here in three dimensions. So the purple, that's the nitrogen atom. We're going to add four hydrogen atoms. One, two, you can see the hydrogen atoms, they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Three and four. So we get this tetrahedral molecular geometry for the ammonium ion. You can see that there aren't any lone pairs, so the electron geometry, that's tetrahedral as well. So this is the three-dimensional structure of the ammonium ion. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. You'll sometimes see the Lewis structure drawn like this here to give you an idea of that three-dimensional nature of the ammonium ion. Here, the electrons between the hydrogen and the nitrogen atoms, they're drawn as lines. So this is another way you could draw the Lewis structure for the ammonium ion. Note that the bond angle for the ammonium ion, we'd have 109.5. That's because it has a tetrahedral molecular geometry. If you'd like to know more about the hybridization and the coordinate bond that's in the ammonium ion, there's a detailed video on that at the end of this video. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for the ammonium ion, NH4+. Thanks for watching.